Hello, hardware rights of the web. It's Jacob here. And Dave, hello. Back on the eve of the new year with another PC Game Zone hardware show. As a time of reflection and contemplation, we're taking a look at who won in the grand old game of PC hardware in 2018. Yeah, but look, let's not get caught up in who is better than who or which company is the best. That's behind us now. We're leaving that back in 2018. What matters now is that great product that gamers want is manufactured and released at a competitive price. Nah, forget all that. Let's take a look at who of Intel, AMD, or Nvidia crushed the others into smithereens to be crowned our champion of 2018. So who do you have your money on? AMD, Intel, or Nvidia? For the better part of the year, the stock market would have agreed with any one of those three companies as a good investment. Yeah, that's the first fascinating point of this year. All three companies were financially killing it for the most part. Both AMD and Nvidia were gaining share value at a rapid pace up until the end of Q3, and Intel too was gaining until the mid-year. But then it all came crashing back down to earth. Crypto hit back hard, with Nvidia getting sucker punched hardest of all. It lost nearly half of its value through October, and nearly wiped out much of its fiscal gains from 2017 too. Jensen can't be happy with that. AMD on the other hand returned to its regularly scheduled programming after its brief stint in Wall Street's good books pretty much picking up where it left off before its stock skyrocketed. But surprisingly, despite the looming undersupply and shaky press for most of the year, Intel has been posting record profits every quarter. What's that about being too big to fail? Yeah, still, we chalk this one up as a victory for AMD. It suffered much the same fate as Nvidia, yet seemingly got out from under the doom and gloom, far less bruised and bloody than the green team. So that's one point to the red team. Now let's talk CPUs. Yes, let's. Thanks. And we feel largely the same way about the CPU market this year as we did last year. AMD kicked the CPU market into overdrive back in 2017, and it's all still happening. AMD Ryzen processors, especially the second gen parts that arrived earlier in the year, are a value proposition that swathes of gamers just can't turn down. On the flip side, there is a saving grace for Intel. That's its unmatched gaming performance. For a whole bunch of gamers out there, that is all that matters in the world. And we salute you for that. Intel has indeed created the fastest game of processors around this year, but we're still giving this one to the red team. If only because its processors forced Intel to step up its own CPU game too. Two points to Gryffindor! Sorry, AMD, whatever. In the wonderful world of graphics cards, Nvidia has continued to dominate the high-end market throughout 2018. It was also the year we waved goodbye to Pascal on its OAP cruise to the Bahamas and said hello to Turing, bringing with it real-time ray tracing, albeit in one game, Battlefield 5, to the fore. But some Pascal cards refuse to retire, filling up the channel with a whole load of unwanted mainstream GPUs because... Team Radeon is holding down the mid-range market with the suddenly affordable RX 580 and the newly released RX 590. In an effort to be a fair adjudicator, and despite the fact we actually think that the RX 590 is the best graphics card of 2018 singularly, Nvidia gets the win here. Its cards, both great and small, are still the de facto choice amongst gamers. So that's one point to the green team. So if we carry the one, divide by Graham's number, and then smash that equals button, voila! That leaves AMD in the lead, Nvidia training behind, and Intel with a big fat nothing in the points table. Yeah, sorry Chipzilla, but you'll live to fight another day, just like the real monsters from the deep. You could make an argument against AMD leading the whole year too. You could say that it is still the smallest of the three companies discussed here today, and you'd be right. You could argue it's got the most still to prove, and you'd be right. You could even say it has the most pressure on it for continued excellence, and therefore the most risk too, and you'd be right. Yeah, AMD still has its work cut out for it yet, but now it has momentum on its side. It's gaining ground in server share with the Epic, desktop share with Ryzen, and it's got the flexibility to deliver on future process nodes the most efficiently thanks to its partnership with Trailblazer's TSMC. Welcome to the Upside Down viewers. You've just been bamboozled. AMD isn't the real winner of 2018. Don't be silly. It's TSMC. How do you like that? Yeah, the Taiwanese Pure Play Foundry made $25 billion in the first nine months of 2018, accumulating orders and sweet, sweet dollar from both Nvidia and AMD. Heck, they were even rumored to take on a little bit of Intel's business too, but Intel put a stop to those whispers. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, the foundry is set to pick up all of AMD's chips for the immediate future as well, since Global Foundry's dropped out of the cutting edge node game. So every drop of AMD success is shared by TSMC too, along with a horde of other massive tech companies vying for space in its manufacturing facilities. Samsung also gets an honorary mention this year as it swept the top spot as largest semiconductor foundry right out from under Intel's feet. So there you have it. 2018's biggest winner is in fact the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. 
Designing chips is for chumps. It's all about fabrication. As with most years, it feels like we've just been working up towards something even bigger and badder in the next. And smaller. Or smaller. Specifically in 2019, that's AMD on 7 nanometer and Intel on 10 nanometer. See, that's what everybody cares about. Process nodes. Point proven. Well, if you like what you've seen today, like, subscribe and all that. Or if you feel like sharing your opinions on who won 2018, and we're very sure you have them, jump into the comment section. Also, check back on PCGamesN.com for more from all the great people we've been lucky enough to work with all year. Happy New Year!